Range script loaded, you can now press escape, select, choose slot, and pick your aircraft. The SK-60B, as simulated on DCS, can mount two Aachen M55 pods on its central wing stations, each pod carrying a single 30mm gun with 150 rounds. The Aachen M55 uses a Swedish licensed variant of the British Aden 30mm cannon, and was used on the Saab J32 Lonsen, the J34 Hunter and the J35 Draken. The Swedish company FFV, in collaboration with the French Matra, developed this gun pod for the Swedish Air Force, which would recycle the Aden cannons of scrapped earlier fighters, for use on the new AJ-37 Viggen and on the SK-60B trainer, which lacked an internal cannon. Basic Specifications Muzzle velocity, 790 meters per second, projectile weight, 220 grams, rate of fire, 1300 rounds per minute, barrel length, 108 centimeters, Weight of gun pod including ammunition, 364 kilograms. For this training mission we will use a weapons range located north of Anapa, that uses a script which will allow you to gauge your shooting accuracy. On this mission, you will have to strafe three gun targets available on the southern side of the range. Perform at least three passes over the strafing pits, one for each target. Perform the passes on a west to east general direction, so that the mission logic can keep track of them. You can access the attack statistics at any time, by calling up the F-10 option of the communications menu. We will now taxi to the runway, contact ATC for taxi clearance. Press backslash to display the communications menu. Select, F-1, request taxi to runway. Please note that ATC Anapa. might take a while Trade to field. answer if there is other traffic Request on the taxi taxi runway. Just wait and eventually you will be given clearance. Press spacebar once you hear the tower's answer. Springfield 1-1, one, one. Anapa, clear to taxi to runway 2-2. Two, two. Take note of the runway assigned, for this mission the active runway should be runway 2-2, the diagram shows the taxi route you must follow. Enable the nose wheel steering by pressing the S key toggle. Increase throttle and release brakes. Taxi straight and upon reaching the taxiway, turn to the right towards runway 22. You are now on the taxiway and on proper heading. Proceed ahead towards the runway, strive to keep the aircraft centered over the yellow taxi line. Stop the aircraft just short of runway 22. We will now contact ATC for takeoff permission. Select, F1, Request Takeoff. Anapa. Once the tower grants Radio permission, one, enter one, the runway, along with its center line and stop there. Springfield 1-1, one, one. Anapa, you are cleared for takeoff and ready. Climb 300 at QFE 29.38. Springfield 1-1, one, one. unable to clear for takeoff. Three, 
flaps, as desired. For this mission, use half flaps. Let's do a brief check before taking off. Navigation equipment, check. Taxi, landing lights, set to their landing position. Nose wheel, confirm it's centered. Hold wheel brakes. Advance both throttles to 92% RPM. Check the following instruments. N2 RPM, no more than 96%. Interstage turbine temperatures, ITT, less than 755 degrees Celsius. Oil pressure between 300 and 700 kilopascals. Oil temperature, less than 120 degrees Celsius. Then release will brakes. After a short roll, increase throttle to maximum. At 40 knots, disable nose will steering, steer the aircraft using rudder alone. At 100 knots, Pull back on the flight stick to rotate attitude. Lift off. Adjust pitch trim to maintain climb attitude. Once airborne, retract the landing gear. Flaps, retract at 150 knots. Taxi, landing lights, set to their off position. Maintain a heading of 220 degrees to reach our first waypoint, just over the coastline at the time ahead of us. On the actual aircraft, mounting the gun sight is done by the flight crew prior to the mission. On DCS this is simulated by means of a graphical menu, which requires the use of two control bindings, menu enter, and trigger on screen menu, as shown on the figure. Trigger on screen menu is used to activate the menu, press its key now, the menu should display like in the figure.
The square cursor can be moved the same way you move your virtual head on the cockpit. Move it over ground crew and then press the menu enter binding. The ground crew menu should appear. To mount the gun sight, move the square cursor over install gun sight, and then press menu enter, the menu will disappear and the gun sight will be installed over the pilot's instruments panel. The actual aircraft uses a Ferranti F-105 multifunction sight, but on DCS this is not fully modeled yet, it just display a fixed reticle to help aim your weapons, but there is no depression adjustment nor gyro stabilization. The procedure for using the gun pods, is as follows. 1. Master arm switch, set to on. All armament is controlled by the master arm switch. Also, the gun sight is powered up only when this switch is on. And that's the whole procedure, the gun pods are now ready to use. You fire them using the flight sticks trigger, use short burst as each pod has only 150 rounds. Up ahead is the Lake Aktanizovsky Lyman, the northern island of that lake is our waypoint too, adjust your heading to overfly it. We have reached waypoint 2, turn right to enter the weapons range on a 90 degree heading. The gun strafing pits are at the southern side of the range, select one of the three available pits and align to make a pass over it. Begin the dive, keeping the targeting reticle centered over the gun target. Wait until the reticle circle is over the desired target, then press the trigger on the flight stick, to fire the gun pods. Pull back on the stick to exit the dive and climb back up. Increase throttle. Start climbing back to at least 3,000 feet, before attempting another pass.
pull back on the stick to exit the dive and climb back up. Increase throttle. First pass. Turn right 180 degrees towards a 270 degrees heading, and perform another pass. Start climbing back to at least 3,000 feet, before attempting another pass. Pull back on the stick to exit the dive and climb back up. Increase throttle. Pull back on the stick to exit the dive and climb back up. Increase throttle. Good pass. If you still have ammo, turn back 180 degrees, and do another pass. Else, return to our base on heading 140 degrees.
pull back on the stick to exit the dive and climb back up. Increase throttle. The heading towards Anapa Air Base is approximately 140 degrees. You can check your range results by pressing backslash to bring up the communications menu. Select F10, Other. Then select F2, Range. Finally, click F1, My Strafing Results. Deactivate the armament with this simple procedure. Master arm switch set to off. You have completed the main subject of this training mission. Select. Press backspace if you want to fly back and land at Anapa, or press spacebar to end the training now. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the main subject of this mission. Press spacebar again to exit the training.